Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are reliving our favorite moments from 2018. And up next on our list is a place considered one of the largest alligator parks in all of South Texas. And y'all, these guys are huge. Trust me. So let's take it back to Beaumont, Texas. All right, so before we move on and get hands on with these guys back here, we're actually going to sit down, learn a little bit more about all the reptiles with the staff who knows them best. All right, last chance. Y'all ready to learn about alligators? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> this is one of our little one-year-olds. If you'll notice, these baby alligators have stripes all over the box. That's part of his camouflage out in the wild. If I did that to a wild five-foot alligator, you know what would happen in my face? Now these do not have venom, okay? okay? <laughs> but what they do have is 90 teeth in their mouth, and they all angle backwards. All right. You jumped out of an airplane. I know, I don't know how I was, I'm like, what is his hand doing right here? All right, so if you've ever been to the zoo, you've probably seen a gator or two, right? But you probably have never seen this guy. This is Big Al. He's 84 years old and weighs over a thousand pounds. He lives here, but we also get to see some other animals and reptiles too. So let's check out Gator Country, y'all. A lot of people ask us, why does Big Al got to be in the pond by himself? Big Al is now 85 years old. Been around a long time. He's a grumpy old man, so we leave him right there. Up next, we took an incredible trip to San Antonio for one of their largest and most iconic festivals where the food was amazing, the drinks were flowing, and the fun never ends at Fiesta. Fiesta at San Antonio has turned into one of the area's largest and most popular events of the year. It attracts over 3 million people with its 11 days of parades and parties, dining and dancing, and much, much more. The pineapple is just bursting, and it's so good, and the sweetness against the tomatillo is just fantastic. Anything you roll up in a flour tortilla is uh, okay, my boss. It says don't be self-conscious. It's pretty good. <laughs> So we just came from indoors in the VIP section. Now we're headed outside because Case of Northside has so much to offer. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Held at the club at Santerra, this epic event is host to over 50 of San Antonio restaurants, as well as beer, wine, spirits tastings, and live stages to keep the party moving. Viva Fiesta! Now, if you're a comic book fan, you'll definitely love this next pick, which brought together some of the biggest stars with their biggest fans at the first annual Celebrity Fan Fest in San Antonio. But the main event of the show had to be the celebrities. Fans were invited to join a number of panels and stage presentations. The headliner of day one was none other than the king of the seven seas, Jason Momoa. It's a pleasure to be here. It's really cool. I've never, uh, I've never been to this before. I think it's the first time I've ever been here. And Bob and Peggy, you know, the wheels are, you know, thank you very much for bringing me down here. Oh, yep, there they are, surprise guests. Everybody's been so nice and so respectful. Everybody's been saying, like, Miss Allie, which is really cute. But yeah, it's been, it's been lovely. The fans are super nice, and um, we feel very welcomed as a, as a cast. And lucky for us, we were able to talk with Ray Fisher, better known as Cyborg. Everybody's been really, really nice. Yeah. It's really beautiful. There aren't as many street lights as I'm used to out here, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, everybody seems to be really pleasant and really just pleased with Celebrity Fan Fest and everything going on out this way. You're here with Ray Fisher at Celebrity Fan Fest. Uh, I hope you have a good day. For our next 2018 top pick, we're reliving one of the most spectacular and inspiring events we'd ever experienced here on Yolo, Texas, when we celebrated the beauty of light, life, and love at the incredible Lights Festival. So here's how it all works. Both of you grab the bottom of the lantern and the top of the lantern. Okay, once your square fuel cells lift your lantern down low to the ground, what that does is it, it will block the wind and it will help your lantern fill with hot air quicker, okay? 
you will feel a slight upwards kind of tug towards the sky. Once you feel that, then just gently release. And as it rose up, joined by thousands more just like it, it was spectacular. Enjoy the journey, YOLO Texas, just take it on in everybody.